I've been given this old rotary hoe. It's been sitting here for about 20 years and it looks like that motor is going to be no good because the spark plug's out and the carburetor's just hanging off there so uh, it's obviously had some problems and they've just parked it up and left it but there might be some useful parts on there what's that a gearbox so that's well, that's not even turning the blades yeah must be something to do with this handle whatever it used to do it doesn't do it anymore um, I'll try and pull it out of here and have a better look at it It's been sitting sort of half out in the open with a, a plug out of it for 20 years or so and they've obviously had issues with the carb because that's off we could get it going but it's just going to be very time consuming and these little motors are only a couple hundred dollars so i don't even know if i'll bother with that i wonder if i could put an electric motor on there yeah just do away with that petrol engine that all seems to spin okay and the blades the blades seem to spin freely Got it. So that's engaged that clutch. Yep, that feels okay. That actually feels quite smooth. The bearings are okay, so I think it'll be alright. I don't know if this motor will be big enough, but we'll give it a try. 0.7 kilowatts, so that's basically one horsepower. It'll be a little bit less power than the original, but I think um, it should be okay in fairly soft dirt. So that is spinning counterclockwise. Um, if that was going the wrong way, I'd have to swap over the terminals on the starting coil, but that one is okay. Usually when you, when you go to put a motor on something it's going the wrong way, but luckily this time it's um, that's the right way. We can do away with that plate there and take that sprocket off and I'll have to try and get a pulley on there somehow. I wonder if I could... Hmm, I might as well just have it pulley driven because I think the chain will just cause too much trouble.
this is the only pulley I've got that's about the right size. Now we'll try that first of all. Um, I think it should be alright. Let's see if I've got a belt to suit that. Pays to keep a good selection of belts on hand for just such an occasion. Uh, too big. That's going to be pretty close, I think. That's one problem there, that um, because that pulley is so big, the belt is going to hit on the bottom there, unless I raise the motor slightly. I don't really know um, if that speed is going to be ideal, so I, I won't put too much time into this base just yet um, because I might have to change these pulleys. So I'll just screw it on there for now and um, yeah, I can always change it later if I need to. Alright, there's no oil in there. It's almost like, like grease. I would have thought there should be oil in there, not grease, but um, maybe if the seal has gone, they might have put thicker grease in there. come through now we'll give that a bit of work and then um, let it stir everything up and change it again after it's been running for a while um, that wasn't holding much oil I, I think that was pretty much empty so it could be that the seals are gone in this, um, in this shaft but I mean the amount of work it's going to be doing, it doesn't really matter too much. That should be better. There we go. Ah, oh, that's nice. A lot of you know that I generate my own power, so effectively this will be a water-powered tiller. Water from the stream spins a turbine, generates power, goes up to the house and feeding the power into the tiller. So yeah, it's got to be one of the more eco-friendly tillers out there. You could do this with uh, solar power as well, of course, um, or just plug it into your, your grid power. So we'll put it in some dirt and see if it's actually got enough power to, to dig a hole. I might have to put a bigger motor on there, but we'll try that one first. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. What is that, Dad? 
it's not a bit at present. <laughs> what do you reckon? How big is it? Pretty good, oh, eh? It's a rope right for her. How big is that? Oh. Toe clipper. Yeah, toe clipper. Yeah. What the heck? I just call it clipper. <laughs> Right yeah. No, I, I took the old broken petrol motor off and put that on it. Works well. Where did you get the hoe bit from? Hey? Where did you get the bottom of the hoe bit from? Well, I was given that. A bit obnoxiously loud? No, it's, it's actually quiet. It was. Yeah, it's just an electric motor. <laughs> oh, it's an electric oh, one. God, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I might have to move the motor forward slightly. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, have we got a patch to try it on? It's it's not really for breaking in new grass or anything. It's it's probably not grunty enough. But um, yeah, just existing garden mm -hmm. beds. Well, that does a pretty good job, eh? Yeah. Digs down quite deep. Yeah, I'll just have to put a put some sort of flap at the back here, I think, to stop the stones flicking out. Yeah, and piling. Yeah, and um, and I'll put a I'll get an RCD switch for here because at the moment I'm just sort of plugging it in. But yeah, mount an RCD switch there, mm. and that'll be nice and safe. It's yeah. very quiet. Yeah, it is quiet job done. That turned out really well. Should get a good crop on there I think. Yep, just have to get rid of those slugs. <laughs>